So guys, before this starts, please be polite. This video is for cultural meditation. I have three versions that I'm presenting and I put a few more links in the description. So, version one. Wolf raises a abandoned child. Sobbed out, the Turks are a branch of detach. From the Xiongnu, they are belong to the Ashina. They were an independent tribe and were completely destroyed by a neighboring country. There was a boy of 10 years. The children had managed to kill him because of his young age. They chopped off his feet and threw him into the swamp. They had left a wolf who fed him meat. When the boy had grown up, he united with the wolf and ate it. The king, who had previously attacked the tribe, learned that the boy was still alive and sent someone to kill him. The messenger saw the wolf as a boy and wanted to kill him. But the wolf fled to a mountain north of Kaoshan. In this mountain, there was a cave, and in the cave, there was a plain with which vegetation, vegetation which stretched over several hundred li. It was surrounded by mountains from all sides. There the wolf sought refugee and led first to ten boys. The ten boys grew up and took, took room from the outside. Each of the senders took a family name and called themselves Ashina. The children and the children multiplied gradually. They formed several hundred families. A few generations later, they came out of the cave and settled into the Juju. They lived on the southern side of Chinshan. They turned the Juju as forge. Second version, the Lord of Rain and Wind, the ancestors of the Turks came from the, the land of Zo, in the north of Xiongnu. The leader of this tribe was called Abong Pu and had 70 younger brothers. He was born of the wolf, the land of the Turks, and was soon as told. To the incompetence of Abong Pu and his brothers, Nishi Tu, another son of the wolf, had supernatural power to create rain and wind. He married the daughters. Of the spirit of summer, the spirit of winter, one of the Roman gave birth to of his four sons, one of whom was turned into a white swan, and another established the state of Chi Ku between the rivers Afu and Xi'an. The third ruled around the Sha Shu Xi River. The fourth, the oldest, lived on Mount Xi'an Si Chu Chi Chi. On this mountain also lived part of a Pang Pu's tribe. They suffered greatly from the cold. The eldest made fires and kept them alive. Now they submitted to the elder, made him their ruler and called him Turk. His name was Natuli Shi. Natuli Shi had ten wives. The, te the sons took the epithet of the mother. One was called Ashina. Natuli died. The sons of the ten mothers now wanted to appoint a new leader. The one who could jump the highest the tree was become a leader. Ashinako jumped the highest. He became the new leader and was called Asian Shi. So now comes the third part. And <coughs> the Turkish mythology there are two wolves, a male and a female. The first, the female wolf is Asina, but the male wolf, Ugus, is the wolf man who guides and leads the Khan. Ugus Khan is known as the father of the Turks and the founder of the first Turkish state in history. was identified with the Han ruler Meet Khan, the name of the wolf that guides Ugus Khan. Spirit is seen, or Gokbe, and he is the wolf who has guided Ugus Khan throughout his life. And in the saga, this wolf is a man, however, in the Turkish saga, it is shown as a wolf female, this is a sin. In both sagas, the common expression is that the Turks were derived from wolves. In the first saga, our first state was founded under the guidance of the wolf, while in our second saga, it is said that it was born of a wolf. According to a Turkish legend, Ugus was born in Central Asia as the son of Kara Khan, the leader of the Turkish people. He began to speak as soon as he was born. He stopped drinking 
This must have some milk. After the first time I asked for an alcoholic drink, this fermented mare's milk and meat. After that he grew up to potentially fast. And just in 40 days he became a young adult. At the time of his birth, the land of the turtle people was plundered by the dragon named Kiant or who scummed himself and went to kill the dragon. He set the trap for the dragon by hanging a freshly killed deer in a tree. Then he killed the big dragon with a bronze lance, part of his head with his stupid. After August killed Kiant, he became a four cable. He formed a special warrior group of 40 sons, 40 Turkish beggars. He discovered the clans, but his Chinese stepmother and half brother, who was here of the tomb, were intimidated by his power and convinced Kara Khan that Ugus was planned to the tomb. Kara Khan decided to murder Ugus. At the hunting party, Ugus learned of this plan and instead killed his father and became Khan. His stepmother and half brother were to Chinese country. After Ugus Khan became Khan, he went alone to the step to pray strangely and pray. By praying, he saw a cycle of light coming from heaven with a supernaturally beautiful girl standing in the Ugus fell in love with the girl and married her. They had two sons, named Gu, the son, Ai Mu, Yildiz, Star. Later, Ugus went hunting and saw another fascinating girl in the street. He also married to her and had two other sons, who he named Gu, Heaven, Dark Mountain, and Dennis, Sea. After the birth of his sons, Ugus Khan gave a big feast and invited all gentlemen. At the feast, he gave his order to his masters. I have become your Khan. Let us take old swords and shields. The göttliche Macht will be our sign. Grey Wolf will be our battle cry. Our iron lands will be a forest. Kulan will go to the hunting ground. Moses and Marvel's son is our flag and sky is our tent. He then sent letters to the kings of the four cardinal points, saying, I am the Khan of the Turks. And I will be the Khan of the four corners of the earth. I want your obedience. But to Khan, the golden Khan, and the white Khan of the earth submitted his obedience. But Urum, Khan of the left corner, did not. Who was declared war on Khan and marched against his army. One night, a large male, a large male wolf, this grey fur, the avatar of Tengu, the almighty god of the, of the Turk people, came to his tent in an hour of light. He said, Ugus, you want to march against the moon? I want to march in front of your army. So the grey sky wolf marched in front of the Turkish army and let it. The two armies fought near. The Volga, Ugus Khan, won the battle. Then Ugus and the Saxon conducted campaigns in Turkestan, India, Iran, Egypt, Iraq. And so, yeah, as a real wolf as a leader, he became the Khan of the four corners of the earth. In his old age, Ugo saw a dream. He is called his six son and sent them to his temples. His older sons found him a golden arch in the east. His younger sons found him a silver arrows in the west. Ugo's Khan brought the golden arch into the surpass of the age of his sleep. Older sons, Gugin, I and Yildiz, he said, my older sons, take this bow. And shoot to arrows like this bow into the heaven. He gave his three silver arrows to his three younger sons, Gok, Duck, and Denise, and said, My younger sons, take these silver arrows. The bow shoots arrows into the shirt and like the arrow. Then he handed over his land to his sons, the older and the younger one, at the graduation banquet. Temper seals and unknown spirit guide birds, as well as the political hierarchy and seating arrangement banquets. For these, there were 24 sons. Then he said, My sons, I have walked a lot, I have seen many battles. I saw so many arrows and lands. I rode many horses. I have made my enemies cry. I made my friends smile. I pretend to my debt. Now I'll give my country to you. So I hope this was good enough for you and have a nice day.